Hi again, my name is Ali. I'm a first year computer science student. This is week two. And today we are writing a program that will calculate a volume and surface area of a cuboid. Cuboid? Cuboid? See, this is what happens when a foreigner tries to use a language not native to his. So this is our shape. It's not just a, um, it's not a square, it's not a box, it is a cuboid. Our program needs to calculate volume and surface area of this. Even more so, our program will ask the user to insert the dimensions for this shape. And then according to the dimensions given, we'll do calculation for volume and surface area and return this to the user. So without further ado, let's move to Python and let's write our code. So first we want to, as usual, ask the user to put in cuboid uh, width and then the same thing for height and then the same thing for length so what's missing here if you are following along we are in our week two so far and you should recognize that it will be good if once a user has been asked to do these things, Python actually remembers their answer and stores it as a variable. So we will actually do that by writing with height and length. To make our life even easier, I'm going to try to be smart ahead of this. And we will convert this response into a float. Oops, sorry. There we go. So this is the first part of our program and it works just as we want it to. So now we want to introduce some basic math and we will define another variable for our calculation for the volume of this object shape and it should be quite simple. It's as simple as multiplying these three values. So we can rely on our previously defined variables. Test number two, we'll put in with eight, height five, six, 240 for the volume. Most definitely this is true. So that's our formula for our cuboid volume. And now we're going to do the surface area, which should be the square footage. So I'm not going to pretend I'm smart. I Googled this formula Five minutes before making this video so if you want to find out the, the same thing from google feel free to do it uh, by all means that's what i did so i can immediately tell you that this is the way to get that formula essentially what the formula is is taking each dimension multiplying it with the other dimension the third dimension and then adding those three up simple as um, then to get the square footage that number squared is our answer voila so quite simple that, that's why we have written two times everything here because the total number will be multiplied multiplied by itself if we do the two times so we will now start length times height so we have one of them we want to add them up so now with width times height and what was the last one length times width i believe i think that's it and now we will do our printing of this value so let's see does everything work as it should so eight meters height is five meters and this is six and we have an error which is great whenever this happens in our video why because i get to revise and you get to learn win-win 
So, it's in line six. There we are. Must be an iterable, not float. So, okay, I see where it was. It was me trying to be quick. And that results in nothing more than just errors. We'll re rewrite this. So it was a simple typo. Not much to learn from here other than uh, my incompetence. So length times width. We have the same thing now. Five, six. Lovely. I believe that's it. This is our program that inputs the user for these dimensions. And then we have the formulas that will calculate the volume and the surface area of this shape. I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned something. And in the next video, we will continue with the exercises from week two Python programming. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.